Hi there, join me on this lovely spring morning when I'm back in my local nature reserve. It's now the middle of March and I'm back at my local nature reserve which is only about five minutes away from where I live so it's really handy to just keep revisiting and see this place at different times of the year because the last time I visited was about five months ago now and that was in late November so we were deep into autumn almost winter and now we're into spring so things will have changed quite a lot but it's quite a good time to visit for seeing birds because the trees still don't have any leaves on but the birds are starting to get active they're starting to enter their mating season so it's going to be a great time to look for things to photograph look for signs of spring so come along with me because i know we're really going to enjoy our photography On mornings like this it's just so nice to be outside in nature listening to the birds because the place is alive with noise this morning. Now I haven't actually seen very many birds other than some right in the tops of trees but they're definitely about so I'm sure before the end of the day I'll see something because this place never seems to disappoint. I always come away with something a little bit special when I visit here and this morning there are certainly so many birds about it's just so noisy with bird song that i'm sure before long i'm bound to see something Despite focusing on the birds this morning, I'm also keeping my eye out for other things and just here on this log are some really interesting red coloured fungus. If I can find out what they're called, I'll put it on the screen. Otherwise, it's just something that's really interesting and I couldn't resist taking its photograph. I'd just like to take a few moments out of the video to mention that Erin from Bob and Brad reached out to me to ask me if I'd like to try out one of their massage guns and because I do suffer from a bad back I thought it'd be worth giving it a try out to see what it was made of. Now I've got to say that I'm really impressed with it. It has really helped my back. It's got a very sturdy construction that charges from a USB-C cable there are five different attachments so you can get different types of massages and it comes in this case to keep it all together. Now if it is something that you're interested in I can highly recommend it and Bob and Brad have also given you a 10% discount code so I'll put that down below in the description and now back to the video. One of the things I really like about this coat is it's got lots of big pockets. So as well as storing a couple of lenses in case I want to take the big lens off and go a little bit more macro, I've got those in my pockets. But I've also got a bin bag that I always keep with me. It's very useful in case you want to sit down or kneel down on wet ground. It just saves you getting really wet and mucked up. 
But at the moment what I'm doing is I'm sat down and just waiting to see if any birds will come. But I've got some seed in one of my pockets that I've sprinkled on one of the tree stumps that's quite attractive. And I'm hoping that some birds might land if I'm patient and wait a little while. I've sat in this location now for well over 45 minutes. It was the right thing to do, to choose a location and just sit and wait for the wildlife to come to me because if you're walking about, you tend not to see quite as much. And I found somewhere that is not busy, so there's not lots of people walking around. There's certainly birds about because I've heard them and I've seen a magpie, a buzzard, some long-tailed tits, great tits, blue tits, robins. I've seen some squirrels, but unfortunately none of them have landed on the perch where I've put some seed. I was hoping that it might just gain a bit of attention and some birds might come down. It turns out that I got a much better shot of a robin on a tree stump right next to the path just before I entered into this woodland. And that's the way it goes sometimes. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move on to somewhere else. If this is your first time visiting the channel, then you can do me a really big favor by clicking the like, subscribe and bell notification, and even share this video as well, because it really does help the channel out. Nearly 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. I know you probably hear that a lot from YouTubers, but it really does help the channel to grow, and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any of my future photographic content. Very counterintuitively, I've come back onto the path and almost straight away I've had two really good sightings. A robin has landed on a tree stump just to my right here. And then I saw a tree creeper not very far away from the path. And I've got some really nice photographs of that, which may end up being the best photographs of the morning. Sadly, the lake's a little bit quiet this morning. There are quite a few birds out on the water, but they're quite a long distance away. I have seen a great crested grebe. There are quite a few Canada geese. I've seen a moorhen and a coot, but with them being so far away, it's just difficult to get a really good photograph. The good thing about coming back to a familiar place is you know where you've had sightings before. And in this tree just here, there's a hole where a nut hatch nests. And I saw it last year, I've come back again today, and it's in and out again. Whether it's the same bird, I don't know, or whether it's another different bird. But either way, it's nice to see it, and so I've got some video of it coming in and out, and some photographs as well. What I'll do now is I'll leave you with some of my favourite photographs from the morning.
Now it's been a great morning and I've spent over four hours here and got some really lovely sightings. And despite about an hour of that being sat still in the middle of the woodland just waiting for the birds to come, I've actually got my best shots around the paths where there's been lots of people. I've seen the nuthatch and the tree creeper and some other more common birds, but I've still had a great time and I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. So if you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram or Vero account, that's at Dokedon Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now if you like what I do on the channel or want to help support me to make future content like this, then you can leave that at the gift shop. That's at Teespring. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so head off over there because the purchase really does help me out and it's very much appreciated. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications it really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, you can go and check out this video just up here, but all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.